Welcome to Electro Online. Now we're going to show you how the triple product A cross B cross C is equal to the product of the vector B with A dot C minus the vector C times A dot B. So what we're going to do first is show what the left side of that equation looks like. So we're going to start with taking the, the, the cross product of B cross C. So B cross C is simply IJK or XYZ unit vectors, whichever you prefer times and then in the second row we have the x y and z components of b and the third row we have the x y and z components of c so we take i times b times b y c z minus b z c y minus j times b x c z minus b z c x plus k times b x c y minus b y c x so that's how we get the vector product of those two vectors and then we're going to take A cross the vector product. So what that means is we're going to end up with another matrix where we have I, J, K, we have the X, Y, and Z components of A, and the X, Y, Z components of B cross C, which is the X, the Y, and the Z components. Now notice we have a minus J here, so we could take, turn it into a plus J by turning these two around, and that's exactly what we did. Then when we work that out, we have I, times ay times this minus az times this minus j times ax times this minus az times this and then plus k times ax times this minus ay times this and so when we work all that out we have this and then we can multiply the ay times everything inside the az times everything inside and so forth so we end up with this as being the left side of that equation a cross b cross c now we're trying to show that that is equal to b times a dot c minus c times a dot b. And I still have my circle here that we used to focus on before we start showing the video. So the circle is now gone. On the left side, we started working out b times a dot c minus c times a dot b. So b is simply this vector right here, the b vector, bx, by, bz, and the i, j, k components. And then C is simply CX, CY, CZ, and the IJK components. Minus is over here. And then A dot C is simply the X, the X components, the Y components, and the Z components multiplied. Here A dot B is the X components, Y components, and Z components multiplied. Now supposedly this is equal to this. Now let's show you how that's done. So the next what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the BXI times each of the components in here. So this is equal to, and we have I times BX times AXCX. So we have, well, let's write the AX first. So AX, BX, CX. Uh, then this times that, so that would be plus AY, BX, CY. And then this component times this, that would be plus AZ, BX, C, Z. So all we have did is we multiply this BXI times these three terms right there. And of course, I'm going to do the X components first, so the I components first. So now I'm going to multiply this times this. And notice I have a negative here. So that would be minus CX. Oh, let's write the A first. That would be AX, BX times CX. So I multiply this times this. And then minus this times this, that gives us AY, BY, and CX. And this times this gives me minus AZ. Something is wrong here. That should be a B, BZ. There we go. So AZ, BZ, and then we have CX. Notice that's only the I component of the right side of that equation. And let's just compare the I component first. So that means that this right here should be the same what we have in here. Now notice we have an AX, BX, CX minus AX, BX, CX. So this cancels out this. And so this is equal to, and let me leave some room for the J and the K component. So for the I component, we now have, we have an AY, BX, CY. We have plus an AZ, BX, CZ. We have a minus AY, BY, CX, and a minus AZ, 
bz and cx. So what I've done is I've simply, once we've canceled these two out, I recopied the four remaining terms in here times i vector. I unit vector, of course. Then I can do the same for the j and for the k unit vector. But just let's check the i unit vector alone. And of course, I've made that a bracket, so let's turn it into bracket. So let's see if we have the same thing. a y b x c y. a y b x c y. So that means that this is equal to this. All right, next we have an a z b x c z. a z b x c z, that's this one right there. So we have this term and that's this term. How about a y b y c x with a negative in front of it? a y b y c x, that's this one right here. And that's this one. And you have an AZBZCX, AZBZCX with a minus. And notice we found all four terms over here. We found them over there. At least that showed that the I component was the same. Let's do it for one more component, the J component, to see if we have that correct. So let's see here. We have a J component right here, and we have a J component right here with a negative. So uh, plus J times by times this so we have by times oh i want to write the a first because if we keep it in the right order that makes it a lot easier to work with so we have this times this so we have ax by cx and then plus ay by cy plus az by cz so we multiply this times this. Now we're going to add these terms together. So here we have the cy in the j direction, but in the negative. So we have ax, so minus, because I have a minus here, so minus ax, bx, cy. And we have a minus ay, by, and cy. And we have a minus az, bz, and cy. Okay, so that's the J component, and that should match our J component over here. Now, be careful, we have a negative sign here, and we have a positive sign here. Also, we have an AX, BY, CX, AX, BX, CY, that's not the same. Let's see here, AY, BY, CY, AY, BY, CY, so this cancels out with that. That makes it a little bit easier. Now, let's see if we find the four components that are the same. AX, BY, CX. So we have, where are we here? Uh, AX, AX, so XYX, XYX, I have a positive here, I have a negative here, but with this negative makes that positive. So this one is the same as this one right here. So we have AZ, so ZYZ, ZYZ, I have a negative times a negative is positive, and I have a positive here, so this matches this one right here and let's see what else we got we got a minus ax bx cy so xxy xxy i have a minus and i have a minus so this matches this one right here and i have a minus zzy zzy this plus with this minus makes that a minus that's a minus so this matches this and so i've shown you that at least the i component is the same the j component is the same and since i'm running out of room we can assume the Z component is the same. Well, anyway, that is how we show that A cross B cross C is the same as the back cap, the B times A dot C minus C times A dot B. We verified the triple product that is exactly the same thing, and that is how it's done.